Welcome to the e-learning series on tasks and milestones in Zoho projects today. This is the hierarchy that we follow in Zoho projects. A project is delegated in terms of milestones. A milestone comprises of several task lists and a task list is formed by grouping a bunch of tasks. You're viewing the tasks page for the project Donnelly Apartment Construction. As you see, there are three basic views, Classic, Plain and Kanban. The Plain view shows a list of all the tasks without their task list and milestone details, wherein the Classic view shows the list with their task list and milestone mapping. The Kanban is self-explanatory. You can view the tasks in a board kind of view and you can drag and drop tasks across statuses from this view. You can also group the data on the Kanban board based on criteria like these. Apart from these basic views, there are advanced views where we have applied some of the most frequently used filters and given them here as these views. You can create your own custom view like this. And you can also search for a view here and mark one as your favorite. Apart from these, you can apply other filters here and you can save your results to either an Excelis or a CSV file. We learned how to add a task in the previous tutorial. Now we will see it in detail. The first two fields are self-explanatory. You can map the new task to a task list if necessary. When a task list is internal, it means it's visible only to the project users and when it is external, it's visible to the client users as well. We assign an owner now. You can plan the work hours for this user here. There are three formats in which you can do this. You can enter the work hours or work percentage per day or you can enter the total work hours within which the user is expected to complete the task. The set recurrence option comes in handy when you have to repeat this task's occurrence frequently. You need not have to recreate the same task several times thanks to this option. You can also make this task to recur forever by setting no end date for this recurrence. Set the start and end dates and you're done. So this is how your task looks after creation. You can edit the fields by just hovering over like this. You get to see who created the task, what status is it in, and of what priority is it here. You can also view the comments and attachments here, and collapse or expand the section here. I didn't set any reminder for this task before. I'm setting it now. My fields look good, so I head to add a follower. And you can move the task to a different task list like this or to a new project like this. I hope you're comfortable in creating and editing a task now. Now coming to task lists, you can manage a specific task list from this classic view easily. You can view only the closed task lists here and reorder task lists here. You can also import tasks in these formats into Zoho projects and export tasks into an XLS or CSV file from Zoho projects. You can modify a specific task from the classic view like this or you can modify all the tasks under a task list by enabling the checkbox beside update like this. A milestone is a short-term target set within a project with which tasks of similar nature can be associated and accomplished. We will now see how to manage milestones in Zoho projects. Upcoming milestones are the ones that are yet to start in your project. Overdue milestones are the ones that have expired but active. That means they have gone past their scheduled due dates and your team is still working on it. Completed milestones are the ones that have been accomplished and you can choose to archive a completed milestone if necessary. Similarly, you can unarchive an archived milestone if you wish to. While adding a milestone, please ensure to set the correct flag. A milestone that's external will be visible to everyone and the one that's internal will be visible only to the project users. So we've learned how to manage tasks and milestones inside a project. Now we will see how to manage them at the portal level. 
the my tasks widget gives you the list of all the tasks that are assigned to you across projects similarly the my milestones widget gives you the list of all the milestones with which you are associated across projects you can also view the results based on their statuses or projects thank you for listening subscribe to this channel for more videos on zoho projects see you soon in the next tutorial